Dun 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 That's right. That's right. To me, I was reminded of the A-Team uh, in Chapter 4 of The Mandalorian. Hey, everybody. I'm Ben, uh, Kansas Geek Man. Uh, I am a gigantic Star Wars fan. However, I have been working out, so hopefully I'm slimming down so I won't be as gigantic. Uh, I am an artist for Topps Trading Cards. I would uh, do Star Wars art for them and uh, just have been a fan since uh, since I was a child, about 40 some odd years ago. So <clears throat> this week, chapter four, this, uh, this week was directed by Bryce Dallas Howard. And uh, this one comes differently than the others. Uh, we finally are seeing some, some more interaction um, with the Mandalorian, with other humans. And I really didn't sit down and take a bunch of notes this time around. I'm, I'm kind of working from my memory on this, and I thought I'd just jump on and and uh, do a quick review. But uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we've seen some things this week that were different. Um, in a nutshell, to me, I'd say this episode uh, was, uh, was good. Um, good episode. Uh, definitely a change of pace from the last three weeks that we have received from uh, Disney Plus and Lucasfilm. And... Uh, but it was good. <clears throat> not uh, not my favorite. Uh, not not at the top of the list. Not my favorite. But uh, uh, but it was entertaining. Um, I would say uh, we got to see a new character, uh, uh, Cara Dune, played by Gina. And I don't know how to say this name. I'm so sorry. Gina Serrano or Carano. Uh, and I know she's an MMA fighter, I believe. Um, well, one of the things I noticed is uh, that I really liked was the fact that they chose someone in, uh, that was uh, that looked like the part, right? She is someone I can see and I believe would be a former rebel commando uh, because she's built, uh, built tough, right? She's in, she's in shape, she's fit, and uh, so it made it very believable for me to accept the Mandalorian kind of... Uh, sparring with her and kind of a couple times getting his butt kicked so uh, I was okay with that um, I've, I've seen a lot of reviews and hearing a lot of things of people uh, not really liking that and uh, my note about this uh, I'm noticing with the Mandalorian uh, you know I, they haven't really made him in my mind I think I remember the opening sequence of, ep of the first chapter they made him look like really, really tough. But if you go back and you rewatch some of those episodes, which I've done over my Thanksgiving holiday, I've rewatched all three. Uh, you know, there are times and situations he's put in where he's not really uh, as tough as one would think or assume. Uh, he's was helped by Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda, helped by him. Uh, you know, and there were times that uh, that you know the Jawas kind of kicked his tail a little bit and. You know, he's learning. He's somebody who's who's learning. Every time he engages like this, I think he's learning a little bit more uh, on how to fight and how to battle. But so I'm not one of those guys that's like, there's no way he shouldn't be doing this. He should be totally kicking everyone's butt. I don't I don't think so. I think that's a part of character development that makes a makes a character compelling uh, instead of just right out of the gate being awesome. <clears throat> so. I like the storyline. I like the idea of a mercenary who's uh, for hire. Um, you know, when he goes and he's he's trying to he's on the run with Baby Yoda, and uh, ends up trying to protect this village. I like that. It's very um, Magnificent Seven. Uh, it's very it's, it harkens to those old westerns still going back to that. And then I, I believe some of the samurai, the old samurai uh, films, uh, those storylines. So I like the trope. Um, you know, a lot of people might think that, oh, man, this has been done before. Yeah, you know what? But it works. It's a formula that works. It's a formula that entertains. It's a formula that uh, I think uh, you're seeing kind of a hero's journey kind of scenario as well. Um, because I think the overall theme that I got from this episode was that the Mandalorian, he's got that battle and I mentioned this in the, in the other one he's got three things that he's having to obey or three things wrestling within him he's got number one the bounty hunter uh, guild so he has to obey their rules he's got the Mandalorian rules and he's got these rules in himself and I think he's discovering uh, exploring those corners of his heart and those corners of his life that he had kind of put away uh, 
you know, since he is a foundling, as they say, uh, his family was killed. Um, we learned that his family was murdered in the Clone Wars, and uh, the Mandalorians kind of took him in, so he's loyal to them because of that. But he also is a person that you see has a a drawing. He's drawn to the idea of family. He's drawn to the idea of this this peace um, and uh, protecting people who are innocent, people who are who are hurting. Uh, so I love that. I love seeing that. That is so awesome. It's such a good heroic um, story um, in character. So uh, so you also see that he develops this uh, very quick, and, and this is so funny because I was remembering, uh, man, I saw a movie recently with Clint Eastwood. It was the one in 1985 where he's the, uh, it's the Western, where he's the preacher. He goes into this uh, town and he ends up protecting this town and he falls in love with with the the a woman there who's uh, mother of a of a of a girl and uh, you know the father was died anyway very similar but I always remember watching that and thinking boy that turned really fast like they just really were drawn to each other very quickly uh, which is very similar so this was a very quick uh, you could see the affection and when she started lifting the helmet off um, and he stopped her I was like oh good I don't think he's ready for that yet. Uh, anyway, my prediction uh, on this, um, I predict that we're going to see both those characters, those, uh, we're going to see Kara again, Kara Dune, and then we're going to see um, the potential love interest again in the future because they showed her, you know, she can shoot, she can use a gun, she can use a weapon, um, and I think the Mandalorian is drawn to this, and I think something's going to happen and either I I don't know I could see it going either way like season two could be um, you know maybe this this woman gets killed or this village gets destroyed and he goes on a revenge streak I don't know could be huh I don't know anyway so harkens to a lot of this this episode harkened to a lot of different things I thought of a team I thought of uh, three amigos um, I thought of uh, I was expecting a my little buttercup no I wasn't but uh, yeah, good show, good episode, not my favorite. Uh, if I was to put a, a rating on it, I'd probably give it a good solid like eight, and the others were like nines and tens for me. Um, so, good episode. Uh, I love um, uh, I love Dal- uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. I love that she was able to direct something Star Wars because of the history her family and the relationship her family has with George Lucas. That's pretty cool. And I thought it was pretty awesome that Ron Howard uh, got on Twitter and and said something about being proud of his little girl, proud of his daughter, and uh, I, that kind of st- struck me, struck my my heartstrings because I am a father of three girls, and there's nothing more exciting than seeing your your kids fly like that. So, congratulations to her. Congratulations to um, again to the team at uh, on the Mandalorian. Uh, they are just nailing it every week. And this is a great story. Uh, I enjoyed it. Let's see what happens to Baby Yoda. I think it's going to get tense. It's going to get tenser. Uh, they're on the uh, on the run, and it's pretty apparent that uh, that Imperial faction is not going to just let him go with their uh, with their gold. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you're enjoying the show. Let me know what you think in the comments, um, and don't forget to hit like. I could use some likes. Please, please like me. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. See ya. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please take a moment and give it a thumbs up and maybe consider following the Kansas Geek Man channel. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter over at KS Geek Man.